fuck's going on tonight? Hold on, man. I was just... <clears throat> Since the video last night, I don't know. I just I started listening to some Drop Logic, man. I tell you, Rob, you're... Bam! You're killing it on the bass on... I was just listening to Kicking and Screaming on that one, but that's awesome. So, uh... You guys may have seen him in a few videos. This is old Kingy Kingston. This is the butt I got back uh, when we got back from Jamaica this year. Um, I lost two dogs last year, and um, so it was time to get another one. I lost my uh, 15 and a half year old buddy uh, Fester. Got that um, like right after we got married and stuff, and uh, he was a good dog. And uh, we lost a nine year old Basset Hound, and. Uh, all were rescue dogs, pound dogs. That's what I love. This one's a, uh, he's so good. He's a good boy, huh? Mm -hmm, he's a good boy. He is a weenie dog. Weenie dog. Uh, we don't know mix, but check out his collar. I got him. Cool little collar. He's good. But he's a good boy. He shakes, huh? You shake? You know how to shake and sit. Mm, huh? You're a good boy. So, well, tonight you can see we got uh, something different tonight. I thought I'd show you what I've been doing here on the, um, the DRZ. And <clears throat> I got a, um, something for the DRZ tonight. And another package I didn't expect tonight for my pit bike. I just ordered it. But I guess uh, Christmas time and stuff, man, they're just shipping out. So uh, we're going to open that. It should be, uh, uh, what, did I, what did I order? That's my bike. Oh, I got new levers. And maybe that's all I got for that. New lever. Shit, can't even remember now. Um, but anyways, uh, yeah, so Kinks and I are just down here in the garage listening to some drop logic. Let's listen a little more. Hear that. Yeah. Oh, man, that's a good song. Um. King, you're not into this tonight or what? Huh? Yeah, he's not down in the garage that much, so he doesn't know what to think. But he is a cool dog. He's only about uh, six months old, maybe, seven months old. He's still a little chewer, though. Yeah, he doesn't have his baby teeth, but man, he still likes to chew. Look at him. He tear you up. Huh? You're a meanie, huh? <laughs> yeah, he's a little scared doggy. I can't leave you in here unless you want to sit on my seat. You want to try to sit on my seat? Huh? First time on my seat? Maybe you could be a motorcycle dog, huh? Get you used to sitting on a seat and be like cruising with me going, yeah! Dun, 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 dun. Oh, you don't like that, do you? Ah! I always wanted a dog that's got some, that's got some kind of cool little trick or trait to it. You know what I mean? Faster, he was a frisbee dog for a while until he had seizures and stuff and we had to put him on some medicine. And, uh, but, um, yeah, that sucked. He's a good boy, huh? So anyways, um, oh, what I do want to tell you is people have been asking about the, uh, the Tijuana trip. Well, anyways, I told you guys last night, um, we used to go down to Tijuana often, so, um, you know, it was like San Diego State, San Diego University girls and, you know, guys, it was like, the bars down there were just always jumping. I mean, it was just, it was awesome. And um, so it was the same. I always, I think I'm gonna call him Eddie. Brett, you gotta help me out on this one, man, if you see it. But I'm thinking it's like him and his girlfriend. And I don't think it was the same night that Brett fell. Maybe it was, I don't think it was. But anyways, uh, we were out in um, Tijuana and uh, so we go to the back, <laughs> the back alleyway, you know, minding our own business, you know, just hanging out in the alleyway. All of a sudden, these lights just light us up, man. Cops come flying, come out, start speak, speaking in Spanish, blah, 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 you know. And I don't know what's going on. I'm just like, oh, crap, man. I'm about, I don't know, 18, 19 years old. And, uh, <laughs> oh, so they're just yelling at us, blah, blah, you know, and looking in pockets and flashlights. And so the next thing I know, we're getting stuffed in the back of the police car. It was, I, I don't know, five or six guys and then, his girlfriend was laid across to us. So they take us into the police station. I'm about ready to piss my pants. I'm looking at these guys going, man, my, my mom doesn't even know I'm down here. You know, we didn't have cell phones back in those days. So we're in there and um, the guy, I'll call him Eddie until I can figure out what the hell his name is. But anyways, he was older than us, a little bit older. And like I said, he knew good Spanish. So he went down there and uh, with us all the time. And so anyways, um, 
he take he goes back in a back room with him, like in a side room. We're sitting here, and this guy's sitting across from. It was like in a movie, you know what I mean? And we're just sitting across from him. He's kind of looking at us, and they're just in there yelling, bah, you know, in Spanish and stuff. And we're just all kind of looking at us. They're like, just I mean, just freaking out, you know. It's like, oh man, you know, we're gonna be stuck in jail here. What am I gonna do? Are they gonna let us call our mom and stuff? Or, you know, I mean, I don't know what the hell to do. So, anyways, I don't know. About ten minutes later, they come out, and he looks at it. He said, okay. Um, you know, they want to do like a strip search and then 10 bucks from each of us and they'll let us go. And I'm thinking, oh crap, man, you know, you've seen it in the movies, <laughs> you know, it's like <laughs> rubber glove and bending over and stuff. So it wasn't as bad as that. Let me tell you that if anybody, you guys can all, unless the other people that were with me <laughs> can confess that they didn't have anything else happen to them. But I know I didn't have anything else, you know, happen to me, no bum checking or nothing like that. Thank God. Uh, so anyways, they called us in one by one. They kind of asked us any questions. If we had any stuff, we had to pull our, you know, stuff out of our pockets. And, you know, we didn't have to drop our pants or anything. We had to kind of like unbutton them and then just kind of roll the top down and show that we didn't have anything on, you know. And they kind of patted us down and everything else. And so, <laughs> you know, everybody gave them $10. I don't know, it's maybe about an hour later. And, uh, <laughs> man, we, I don't even think we went back into the bar that night. I think we just jumped in a taxi and took off or maybe went into the bar and then went. But, you know, it was like as we were leaving, you can hear them laughing and stuff at us. So, <laughs> I don't know. That was just crazy, man. It was just, that was a crazy night. Um, yeah, if uh, anybody out there remembers that. And like I said, Brad, I believe you were with us. Mark, can't ask him. Poor guy. Man, still can't believe he passed. But, um, like I said, I know there's about five or six of us, man. See, that's why I'm gonna get the stuff on video because I'm starting to forget stuff, man. I'm getting old, you know. I mean, you know, huh, King? I'm getting old, aren't I? Yeah. So, all right. Well, let's get on to opening some stuff. So uh, let me go put the dog down, and I'll be right back. Yeah, I'm on. I'm back. No dog. Just listen to Mastermind. That's speak the power to preach. Oh man, it's such a good song. I'd love to see you guys live, man. I bet you guys probably put on a good damn show too. Um, so anyways, I got some stuff. Uh, crap, makes, makes me think of another story. <laughs> um, hope you guys don't mind another story. But see, like I said, I like to get these down because this one I'll never forget. I mean, this was just like, I mean, one of the funniest things I've ever seen, thing of, you know, Mexico and stuff, Tijuana. But anyways, we're at my dad's house. Um, tomorrow's my dad's birthday. He passed away when he was 69. Tomorrow, he would have been 78. Um, you know, a lot of you guys remember my dad and stuff and going up to his house on the weekend and getting videotaped surfing and other fun things or out the house in Palm Springs, you know. Uh, watching the Bob Hope Classic, or just hanging out at the pool and stuff and everything else. But anyways, so when I used to go up to his house on the weekends, we used to go to Venice Beach out in California. Now, if you got a member of Venice Beach, uh, I mean, if you guys were back there out in the 80s, um, it was a pretty wild place. And uh, uh, so we're walking, we see a bunch of people gathered around, we think, hey, you know, some kind of street performance and stuff. And I'm telling you all these stories, these are all true. You know, my dad's dad, I wish I could tell you, you know, get the honest truth from him, but I mean, I'm not the honest truth, but, um, so he can verify, but anyways, so we come up around all these people and here's these porta potties. Well, the door's open. <laughs> here's this little Mexican guy. I felt so, so bad for him. Oh my God. <sighs> come to find out what happened. He got robbed. They stuck him down head first into a porta potty, into the holes. You guys have been in porta potties before, right? Into the holes of the porta potty, and basically was down in there, and he obviously had to make his way back up. Well, when he was coming back up, he got one hand stuck up like his, so the rim was kind of stuck up around his neck. So all you could see, you know, is like a shoulder and, and him stuck, you know. <laughs> oh, he had stuff all over his face, and uh, it, oh, it was just a mess. Me and my dad saw that. We looked at I swear to God, we about pissed our pants. Oh my God, that was funny. <laughs> Poor guy, though, you know, and like I said, come to find out he got robbed. And, and the next thing you hear is, ring, ring, <laughs> chainsaw kick open. And everybody just kind of spreads away. So we just kind of keep going down there and stuff. And yeah, 
Good times, good times. Like Harry Perry, man. I'd like to go back and see him. I nephew just signed him something in his shirt. That was awesome. Um, Harry Perry's still kicking and going. But anyways, um, like you said, it's a different night tonight. I got the old uh, DRZ out. Um, you know, a couple things I've been doing to, or one thing I've been doing to it that I'm going to show you guys. And also, uh, what I got for here, I waited forever for these things. And I think I waited probably about a month or so. And finally, the uh, Pro Grip came in but they're the colors I wanted uh, more white and then the black so that will kind of kick off this pretty cool when I get them on and what's on them now are these waffle grips from the factory and those things are gonna be a bitch I should have probably ordered a uh, throttle tube um, but when I bought the bike the Zeta handguards were already on it which were nice with the integrated um, turn signals so I want to get these on and changing grips like getting it freaking enema man I think sometimes I'd rather get an enema than or uh, uh, I never really had an enema uh, but a um, poof, the other one I'm getting ready to turn 50 I went to the doctors and the lady's like oh you know uh, we're getting to that age for you to get a um, coloscopy or you know a um, oh, gee, can't even think of it um, colonoscopy and she started looking down at the computer and I said no don't say it don't say it and she said well she said something like oh you have plenty of time you know and I'm like don't say it and she looked at my date and she said oh you're close to 50. <laughs> I was like I said don't say it because I know they're gonna want to you know up my butt because I'm getting close to 50. All right so I got that uh I think those are gonna look sweet what do you guys think you know white and black uh, the 788 pro grip I got these uh where did I get these from uh, it's been so long I can't even remember. Uh, I even called up ProGrip to see if they were still making these and stuff because I thought maybe they were back or discontinued or something and uh, they said they're still making them they just couldn't get them out fast enough. So I don't know if you guys ever used the ProGrip but uh, they're uh, uh, density wise, uh, triple layer density is what I was trying to come up with there. But yeah they even mentioned my seat, you know, black and white I think they're going to look pretty cool. So yeah. All right, uh, this other package I did not expect to come this quick, but I'm pretty excited. Uh, I'll do something tomorrow night for that. Uh, we'll get into that one. And what did I order? It was just the levers, I think. Yeah, I'm thinking it was just the levers. But anyways, um, let's check her out. Let's check her out. Man, oh, I hate these boxes. I think being from West Virginia, I'd have some buck knife or something stuck to me or something, but yeah, I don't. <laughs> I'm not a redneck. Whatever, my music style, like I said, I like, my favorite kind of music, obviously, is, you know, the reggae, the ska, the punk, you know, stuff to get you going, uh, you know, reggae chilling music, depending on kind of my mood, some ska, a little bit in between, and, you know, but when you hear stuff like Rob's band or uh, Drop Logic or some other stuff, you know, like Rage Against the Machine when they were playing, you know, uh, it just kind of good music and stuff, you know, it just kind of gets you going. But uh, I still can't get into like the country and stuff that everybody's into back here. And I had to play a lot of the classic rock covers and stuff when I played and everything else. So, but like I said, I just couldn't get into them and, um, you know, country music and stuff like that. So, like I said, I love a lot of different, I should say, I don't like all different kind of music. I guess I'm kind of stuck up in my music. Uh, taste, but still, you know. Um, wait, these don't look like levers. T Bolt USA. Holy crap. Are you kidding me? Wow. Wow, it's even bent too. Holy crap. Um, well, this is a shocker. Huh. That is awesome. Uh, yeah, if you guys remember the video from last night, a couple nights ago, uh, when I put on the pegs and stuff, my peg mounts, which this is right here, are straight mounts. And the pegs I got are tilted, so, uh... I'm assuming Vince Powell over at uh, oh, that T Bolt man sent me this. I don't. I know I was trying to get some help from him and figure out what um, 
I don't know if you put a note in here or anything or Man, that's awesome, dude. I tell you what, that is just Man, that I mean T Bolt USA, I tell you what, they you know that's the hell I've seen some few on uh, you know some other pit bikes and stuff, some videos and stuff, but man, I tell you what. Yeah, Vincent Pound, man, I tell you what. Dude, that's awesome, man. That's a two Rastas up, man. That's, that is, a, a holy crap. Holy crap, now it's snowing. Woo! Um, yeah, party. Woo! Since we got, hey! <laughs> um, wow, that is awesome. Sorry, I just wanted to see if it was the right length in it. And that, holy crap. Vince, I man, I never expected that, man. I, I really appreciate that. Um, wow, big shout out to those guys there at uh, T Bolt USA, man. You guys are looking for pit bike parts and stuff. I tell you what, they'll um, they'll hook you up, man. Just uh, email them and stuff, and tell them what you're looking for, and their technicians and stuff. Like I said, it was my fault on the other one too. You know, that's why I didn't get mad at those guys or anything else. It happened to me before you know, several years ago, and I just went with it. I even stuck on the pegs, and, you know, I was just going to ride them out that way, but holy crap, this is awesome, man. I, you know, <laughs> um, yeah, I guess we'll be putting that on tonight or tomorrow night. I don't know. What should I do? I don't know how long I've been filming and jabbing, blah, 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 telling stories, but, um, wow, that's awesome, man. It just blows my mind. So, um, yeah. Sweet guy, or sweet guy. Um, yeah, big shout out to T Ball USA. That's you know, that is just awesome. I'm just, yeah. Wow, that was cool. Damn, this is just perfect, man. Cause oh, nice. Now the now I'm gonna have flat pegs and everything else on that, on the pitter. Sweet, man. That's awesome. Wow, I really appreciate it, guys. I swear. I mean, that's awesome. I uh, wow. Um, so anyways, um, now I'm kind of, uh, expecting to, uh, talk about my levers. So, um, yeah, um, well then I'll show you what I've been doing with my bike. Hold on. <sighs> All right. So what you can see here, I've been putting on white spoke skins. Yeah. I haven't been doing any coke. <laughs> Been putting on the spoke skins. Uh, if you guys remember on some of the um, the DRZ vlogs that I had done before, I had the white strips here about uh, I don't know about three quarters, not uh, just a little bit over halfway. But now I said, ah, screw it. That stuff was kind of falling off and everything else, and so I've been putting on the white spoke skins. And if anybody have put these on, man, I tell you what. It takes forever. So I've been kind of working on this slowly but surely and getting them done. But I think it's going to come out pretty nice. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. I started um, cleaning up all the spokes and stuff with... Um, oh, I saw it on YouTube too. Um, shoelace and some polish. Man, my arms were getting sore and tired and stuff. But then I saw a lot of people with spoke rims and stuff. Or spoke skins on them and so i went out and got some spoke skins and i've been putting them on so i think they look pretty sick the white and the gold you know what i mean kind of match up on the bones wheels yeah i'm with it man i can't wait to get this back out and i think this came out pretty good also man with that black uh plasti dip i've ridden it several times and since then uh, a couple of vlogs right i believe and yeah it's holding up great so yeah, so let me know what you guys think about um, the spokeskins. I know some people like them, some don't, but like I said, on the DRZ, I kind of, I, I think it kind of looks cool with the white. So I'm going to go with it, and we're just going to see how it does. And I will show you guys when I finally finish that. Obviously, this is going to be a slow winter prog progress. Uh, I know you can put them on about an hour and a half and stuff, but... Like I said, it's just, I'm not going to be able to ride too much. Hell, it's just spitting snow outside. And it's just that crap-ass snow where it's just, you know, you can't do anything in it. It comes, it melts, it comes, it melts. It's just, it's ridiculous. Just either come or go away. Damn, so we get the sun back out so we can get out to riding, 
right? Watch the ride, man. That's what I want to do. So, all right, I'm going to get up and um, let's put on the, um, yeah, let's go for the, uh, the mount or this is just going to be kind of a vlog talk, you know. I don't know. Can you guys even see me? I'm chilling here on the cold floor thinking, what do I want to do? What do I want to do? So anyways, if I'm back, uh, let's go with the... <laughs> That's the loveliness of editing. You don't have to watch a lot of that bullshit stuff. So I'll be right back. dirty but with the seat cover and those grips and stuff and I didn't spare you guys all the time because like I said taking this grip off this one side was like Jesus crummy like I don't know it was a pain in the ass but anyways um man sure glad I got my hippie tree hat on tonight hippie tree hat quick silver jacket awesome staying warm down here um can't see my breath um, anyway, so thanks again for watching and, uh, tune in tomorrow night. I will put those parts on. Oh, that's, my clutch comes, uh, clutch and brake lever come in tomorrow. I'll put those on and also the, um, peg mounts. Another big shout out to T-Bolt, Vince Powell over there at T-Bolt, man. That is just awesome. Um. Yeah, was not expecting that. So, uh, tune in tomorrow night again, and probably throw out another story or two. I don't know. I just thought a bunch of stories while I was just putting on those grips and stuff and dancing around to some uh, Bob Marley. But uh, also, like I said, I want to get on the um, 41 Tooth, I believe it is. Yeah, 41. 420, 41. So... Yeah, great night, and i um, glad I got those on. So make sure you guys tune in tomorrow night, and don't forget, remember, everybody, it's Christmas time's coming up, so if you guys hit up, um, shit, stickers falling down. If you guys hit up any of these guys, T-Ball USA, tell them you guys heard it from the old WB Motar back here on the East Coast, uh, srmoto.com, Amps Oil down there at, um, hit up, uh, blah, 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 I can't think tonight. Jeez. Um, Torrent Performance and also over a Rocky Mountain Man. I tell you what, Rocky Mountain has pretty fast delivery too. Uh, if you got any parts over there. So, but like I said, I'm going to get those on. Hopefully, the brake levers, the back sprocket, and the peg mount. And hope you guys like the bike. Give me some comments. Give me some feedbacks. Like I said, send in some videos. Send in some. I don't care. Um, not tossing those babies. Um, Send in, like I said, 
Send in and say hi, man. Anybody want to say hi? I know we got Facebook, social media, and shit and stuff. I'll give you a shout out. Hell, you know. Um, sorry, John Dogren. Man, I tell you what. <laughs> that video, you do look like Vince Vaughn. I know we're getting old. My eyes are getting bad. I'm getting to that one arm, you know, with the cell phone and stuff. And or the long arm. I may need two arms here in, in a few years. But uh, anyways, uh, quick thing about John Dogren. I remember back in high school... John Dogren was like the drummer that you wanted to be. He's like, you know, you good drummers or all drummers kind of want to be like Neil Peart or something like that. You know, high school you saw like John Dogren playing, and you're like, damn man, he's good. So um, yeah, that's awesome. But uh, my bad, John. Um, good to see you jamming. Good to see you jamming with Rob, man. Both of you guys went to uh, went to high school with him and uh, good friends. So yeah, man. Hey, my eyesight's getting bad. Maybe I better use this new insurance I got from the, uh, my new contract and um, maybe get some reading glasses. But who knows? Next time you guys see me, you might see me some reading glasses on or something. Who knows? But, uh, yeah, DRZ's coming along. Uh, the, the SR, or <laughs> SR, the CRF is, I don't know what else to do with that. Any suggestions? I got that thing pretty dialed in before I started vlogging and stuff, but uh, if anybody wants me to go over anything on that, shoot me an email or something. And like I said, tomorrow night will be a little pity special. So thanks for joining me. And remember, the roads are getting slick back here on the East Coast or wherever you're at. Always walk good.